videos. It's the next day, and I just woke up, got dressed, and what I did is I stuff. did like a U part. So this part goes all the way around from like my temples all the way back, and all this hair I pulled up. On the bottom sides, I kept the two strand twists. I did chunky ones and with a bobby pin to help my hair um, have some more of like a stretch all I did after I twisted them is I kind of twisted at the root and then put a bobby pin in like that and that allows your hair to not like shrink this is holding it at the root so it makes this twist tighter so it'll stretch more. If I didn't do this bobby pin trick, then you know the twist would just start kind of unraveling and shrink smaller and smaller. And then I wouldn't have any stretch to the hair. And the reason why I wanted to stretch it is because these clip-ins are um, 14 inches and my hair is really not 14 inches. I think my hair may be 10 inches, maybe a little bit longer. Um, and that's another reason why I put the clips at the top too because you know the higher they are the shorter they fall. So that's why I decided to put the color at the top instead of at the bottom. Um, so anyway, so then at the top I just, when I put the clip-ins in, and I'll show you the clip-in, um, the first night I just twisted them, you know, by themselves without them in my hair, but then I decided, you know what, I need to blend these with my hair. Um, so here's one of the clip-ins, and I like that they are shorter now. This is definitely not 14 inches now, so that's a good thing. But anyway, so here's the clip-in. Here's the comb. And... You place this on your hair, the comb gra um, combs in your hair, and then once you have it secured, you just snap it back in, and it's like really secure. So anyway, so what I did at the top, once I had all this twisted at the top, I sectioned off a thin piece of hair, and then I put this clip in, in and snapped, and then I parted another piece of my hair to cover the track. And I just kept doing that wherever I wanted it to go. Um, so anyway, so I hope that's helpful. I'm so sorry I didn't do um, the video on that part. But I am going to do the takedown and styling process. And then I will figure out a way to show you how to do the clip-in part. So right now I'm just taking out all the bobby pins that I got from Allocate. And I did use Alake Naturals um, product line on my hair, and that those products are amazing. They're all natural, and they smell delicious. And my hair is amazing right now. So there's all mine, and I'm just going to separate them one more time. I'm not going to do it too much, because you know how I usually want my big fro. Well, with this, I do need the twist to be a little bit more defined, because the clip-ins are not afro-textured hair. The clip-ins are actually silky texture. Um, so we're going to have to rough them up a little bit to kind of match it with our texture. Um, and I was on Facebook the other day and someone put on Facebook, or maybe it was Instagram, I don't remember. No, it was Facebook. Someone put, what do you think about companies trying to um, copy Afro texture hair as in a weave? How do we feel about that? I have no feeling about it. But um, I would love to hear what you think in the comment section. So leave a comment. What do you think about it? I personally don't have a problem with it because I love protective styles that look like natural hair. Alright, so there's the bottom layer. 
And like I said, I'm not going to do too much teasing yet. Um, I'll see how much I want to tease it out once I have the other hair down. So there's my hair, the twist out. Alright, so now for the Bantus. So on these, I did the two strand twist with the Bantu knot. And I did that again because I wanted it to have more shrinkage. I'm not going to put any product on these. Um, and I wish I could show you where the clippings are. Well, here's one. Here's one clip in right here. So I put them wherever I wanted the hair. All right, so let's just get to the twist. I mean, untwisting. So as you can see, this hair is ombre. So it's brown and there's only blonde at the very tip. And again, my hair is all through this um, fake hair. Because I wanted it to blend with it. Okay, so now that I have all of that hair out, um, I am going to pick it just a little bit, but not too much. Because... I want this to kind of be like a defined style because the textures are so different. I don't want my hair to get too frizzy. I'm just going to keep it like this. You guys, let me know what you think about this. It's something to definitely get used to. Um, these clip-ins, again, they are perfect if you want to add color to your hair without dyeing. And it's also perfect for giving your fro, you know, some more volume. Because the thing with this is, it's your, your hair is out as well. So it's not like it's all... Um, fake hair. It's not a protective style at all. These are clip-ins to add color, add body to your hair. So um, this is a cute alternative for us, you know? The only thing I don't like is that it's not afro texture. So it is kind of hard to blend it with your hair. Um, and this color is a little bit loud. Um, I might take a few of them out because you really don't need that many. Um, they sent me, um, I think there was like eight pieces. And at first I was like, what? What am I going to do with eight pieces? I was like, I need two bundles. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, they were like, no, you don't need that many. So, I mean, I just tried it. And I do, I really do like it. Um, I just need to play with it more to have it more blended. Um, I know. But anyway, so these are from owigs.com. And I did a review on their wig before, but this, these are their clip-ins. So, um, so yeah. what I, I got 14 inches, and this is silky curly texture. Um, they don't have a kinky curly texture, so I got what, you know. But when I got it, the hair was kind of like texture. Let me show you a piece, because I cut some of it, the length off, because first of all it's too long and the color is too much so I tried to cut some of the color off so here's the texture and this is like human hair like for real but the texture is kind of like frizzy or whatever um so this was my semi review and tutorial um but let me give you some more information in case you are interested in purchasing these um we do have a coupon code which is five dollars off if you go and purchase um hair from owix.com and the coupon code is etc blog mag just like all my social networks are but i'll put it right here and i'll also put it in the description box so, um, again, these are 14 inches. The hair color is 1BT and 27S. The hair texture is silky curly. 
and there are so many different extensions you can get so just browse around on their website um, and there are more like afro texture hair on the site but just not these clip-ins um, and also like them on Facebook they always have different like um, you know um, coupon codes and sales and all that stuff so check them out on Facebook too to see their merchandise and deals and all that good stuff um, but anyway so I hope you guys like my hair I definitely um, like it it's a different type of look for me and I will pull it up so um, I had it up in a puff yesterday because it was so hot outside so I pulled it up but anyway I think I went over everything if you have any questions please let me know and I'll get right back to you alright girls bye